All right, I've got a tool for you for your workbench and it costs you nothing. Okay, absolutely free, 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 free. <laughs> um, so uh, I've talked about non-contact probes before for, um, uh, for spectrum analyzers. Uh, I've got a little bag of them here. I've showed those before, little loops and stuff like that for, for spectrum analyzers. But um, you can also do that sort of thing with your oscilloscope and you can build one for free. Okay, and so uh, here I've built one. It is an insulated wire and I put some large coils on this end and some small coils on that end so it slips right onto the end of your uh, right on the end of your oscilloscope probe, right? So you can build one of these super, super easy. And uh, like I said, it costs you nothing at all. And then you can probe around a circuit and not make contact to it. So why would you want to do that? Well, let's uh, take a look at the first use case here. Let's say we've got um, a, a switching power supply and the front end probably switches at 300 volts and you don't know if it's line isolated and you know, you're, 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 you're worried. Um, so what I can do is I can just kind of say, well, is the circuit working? Like, is it, is it actually pulsing? Am I, is, is my FET? So if your FET is bad, it won't get pulses, right? Because it won't be, it won't be uh, pulsing any current. So I can kind of reach in here and we can take a look. All right. So, uh, I'm going to reach in over to that transfer and say, oh, look, yeah, we're getting some nice big, uh, we're nice getting some nice big pulses from the, uh, from the, from the, uh, from the FET switching. And uh, this is the FET right down there. And over here is the transformer and uh, it's whacking it up and down. And I'm taking, I'm taking a look at that, at that coil right there. So yeah, super, super easy and super, super cheap. All right, another use case might be that you want to probe an oscillator circuit, but the act of actually probing the circuit adds capacitance to it, and you may you may disturb what's going on there. Um, so we can just kind of reach in here with a uh, with this little probe, and we can see what's going on. All right, so I'm uh, reaching over to that crystal, and we can we can see it's kind of an ugly waveform. It's probably a square wave where we're getting a ringing and stuff, but really what we want to know, is it oscillating or not, right? And it is oscillating. We can actually look at the frequency. It is 100 megahertz, and that's exactly what uh, what we'd expect there. It's, a, it's the output of a 100 megahertz oscillator. So once again, we can check the circuit without ever touching it, without, without uh, perturbating it, right? Yeah, it's going to perturbate it a tiny, tiny bit, but not very much at all. And then you can kind of probe around, the, probe around the rest of the circuit and kind of see if there's any other, any other places of interest, right? Another, uh, another use case for these, uh, for these pros can be uh, EMI, right? So let's say that you know uh, you have uh, this thing is radiating some noise and you put it in a box, right? And then you can use this kind of go around the seams of the box and see if you're getting any, any radiated emission outside of the box, right? There we go. Um, so that's just a little quick little uh, thing you may have not seen before, uh, and uh, fun to build. Just uh, just uh, just some wire and, and and away you go. Now um, an old timer's trick uh, is this. Let me. Where's my ground probe? I took the ground probe off. Okay, so here's an oscilloscope probe. Here's a ground lead. You clip the ground lead to the uh, to the tip. And now you've created a loop and you can use this the same way. You can reach in and, and, and try to see things. Now it's not going to be, not going to be as pinpointy and maybe not as good as something like this, but a lot of times this is good enough to just kind of, kind of tell what's going on. So yeah, that one's free too.